Ever wondered why we fart? A question that might seem odd, but holds a fascinating scientific and explanation. We're delving into the realm of flatulence, a term that may elicit a smirk yet is an ordinary bodily function. It's a testament to the laborious process our bodies undertake to break down food we ingest. Flatulence may also serve as a signal, an indication from our bodies that something might not be quite right in our digestive tract. Therefore, while it's often the butt of jokes, understanding flatulence can offer valuable insights into our health and well-being. Now that you're interested, let's dive deep into the science behind flatulence. The scientific reasons behind farting are rooted in our digestive process. Now, let's break down this process. When we consume food or drink, our body sets to work breaking down these substances into smaller digestible components. However, not everything we ingest gets fully digested. Certain carbohydrates resist digestion and make their way to the large intestine. This is where a sort of natural gas factory begins. The process produces a mix of gases including nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, methane, along with a sprinkling of other gases in smaller amounts. These gases don't just hang around though. Some get absorbed into our bloodstream, while others seek an exit route, accumulating in our digestive system until they're eventually released through the rectum. This release is what we know as breaking wind, or simply a fart. Now, not all farts are created equal. Dietary factors play a huge role in gas production. Foods high in fiber such as beans, lentils, certain vegetables and fruits are notorious for contributing to increased gas production. In addition to food, swallowing air during eating and drinking can also add to the gas in our digestive system. Moreover, everyone's body is unique and the amount of gas produced can vary based on factors like metabolism and dietary habits. So, while farting might sometimes be a source of amusement or embarrassment, it's an entirely natural and healthy part of our digestive process. So that's the science of it. But what about the medical reasons? There's more to flatulence than just the science. Let's look at the medical aspects. Firstly, let's focus on dietary factors. Certain foods are notorious for their gas-producing properties. Beans, lentils, broccoli, cabbage, onions, apples, peaches, whole grains. These are all high-fiber foods that can increase the production of gas in your intestines. This is because our bodies lack the enzymes necessary to break down certain carbohydrates in these foods, resulting in fermentation in our gut and subsequently the production of gas. Next, we have the phenomenon of swallowing air or aerophagia. All of us swallow a small amount of air while eating and drinking. However, activities such as eating too quickly, drinking carbonated beverages, chewing gum, or smoking can lead to swallowing more air than usual. This excess air can contribute to bloating and flatulence. Finally, there's normal variation. Just as every person is unique, so too is each person's gut microbiota, the community of microorganisms living in our intestines. The composition of your gut microbiota, your metabolic rate, and your dietary habits can all influence the amount of gas your body produces. Some people might produce more gas than others simply because their bodies work differently but what about medical conditions that could cause increased flatulence? While occasional flatulence is normal if you're experiencing excessive or persistent flatulence, particularly if it's accompanied by other symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating, or changes in bowel habits, it might be time to consult a healthcare professional. Conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease can cause these symptoms. Moreover, Malabsorption syndromes such as lactose intolerance or celiac disease can lead to increased gas production. In these conditions, the body is unable to fully digest certain components of food, leading to increased fermentation and gas production in the gut. These are the normal reasons for flatulence, but when should you be concerned? Flatulence is a part of our daily lives, but excessive or persistent gas could be signaling something more serious. Let's delve into some medical circumstances related to excessive flatulence. Flatulence that occurs once in a while is normal and healthy. It's a normal part of our digestive cycle. However, when flatulence becomes excessive or persistent, it could be suggestive of an underlying condition. If you observe that you're passing gas more often than normal, or if it's coupled coupled with other symptoms like abdominal discomfort or bloating, it might be time to consult a medical professional. 
shifts in bowel habits can also act as a red flag. These symptoms could be a sign of conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, or even chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract due to diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. All these conditions can lead to symptoms such as increased flatulence, abdominal pain, and changes in bowel habits. It's recommended to avoid self-diagnosis, rather professional advice, for a comprehensive evaluation. We should also consider blockages in the gastrointestinal tract caused by conditions such as tumors or strictures. These can lead to abdominal distension and increased flatulence, adding to the complexity of the diagnosis. Another medical factor to consider is malabsorption syndromes. In a normally functioning digestive system, nutrients from the food we consume are absorbed, but certain conditions can interfere with this process, leading to increased gas production. Lactose intolerance, where the body lacks the enzyme to break down lactose, is a common example. Celiac disease, which causes difficulty in digesting gluten, is another. Both these conditions can lead to malabsorption resulting in excessive gas. Lastly, let's not overlook gastrointestinal illnesses. Conditions such as gastritis, peptic ulcers, or gastroenteritis can also lead to increased flatulence, along with other symptoms like abdominal discomfort, nausea, and vomiting. In all these scenarios, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for the right diagnosis and treatment. In summary, while flatulence is a natural and normal part of our bodily processes, excessive or persistent gas can be a sign of a more serious condition. It's vital to monitor your body and seek medical advice if you notice significant changes. And remember, it's crucial to seek medical advice when you're experiencing excessive or persistent flatulence. So there you have it, the scientific and medical reasons why we fart. We've taken a journey through the digestive system, highlighting the natural process of breaking down food into smaller components and the production and release of gases. This is a normal and necessary function that everyone we've also considered dietary factors, like the consumption of high fiber foods and carbonated drinks and elements such as swallowing air during eating that can influence the amount of gas produced in our bodies. Remember, there's a wide range of normal when it comes to flatulence and variations in gut microbiota composition, metabolism, and dietary habits can all contribute to these differences. But it's also important to recognize when flatulence might be indicative of a health concern. Excessive or persistent flatulence, particularly if accompanied by other symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating, or changes in bowel habits, might be a sign of underlying conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease. And malabsorption syndromes like lactose intolerance or celiac disease can also lead to increased gas production. So while farting is a common and natural bodily function, it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional if you're experiencing excessive or uncomfortable gas, as it could be a symptom of a larger issue. In conclusion, it comes to flatulence. It's all about balance. A certain amount of gas is normal and healthy, but too much can be a sign of trouble. So, it's to listen to your body and seek medical advice when needed. If you found this video informative and helpful, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching.